We're going under the hood and we're checking the radiator fluid. What do we need to look for first? <laughs> what do we need to look for first? Well, we have to make sure the fluid's there, first of all. Right, the right fluid level. <laughs> you can see it here, maximum, minimum. Check it when the engine is cold. cold. <laughs> don't do this hot. Don't open the cap. Please don't do that. No. Right? Uh, it can be very dangerous to open the, to try and open the cooling system cap when it's cold or when it's hot. Um, always do it when it's cold. Um, if you have any trouble, just refer to your owner's manual. Always refer to your owner's manual. Choosing the right coolant is a very important part of your maintenance. So what would we recommend? Choosing the coolant. Always make sure that you're running with a Ford running with the Motorcraft coolant. Mm -hmm. Some aftermarket coolants uh, don't quite meet the standards that Ford uh, likes, likes it to be. Yep. So uh, um, just come by down to the Ford store and make sure you get the right stuff for your vehicle in your vehicle. Right, so depending on the year of the vehicle, the mileage you're driving, and all of these different factors is going to depend on the type of fluid that we're going to recommend. And we can always refer back to the owner's manual. That's right. So we know how important it is to change the oil because of the wear. What about the engine coolant? What should I, what, what should I be considering when it comes to having a vehicle for the last five years? Do I need to do something with my engine coolant? Absolutely. Uh, you should be flushing your engine coolant every either five years or 100,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. uh, that just prevents deterioration of the fluid itself and any gaskets that that fluid is touching. Right. Preventative maintenance is what we're talking about and extending the life of your engine and That's your right. vehicle and you know lowering those maintenance costs. Mm -hmm. So a simple thing that you can do, get the engine flushed every five years, 100,000 kilometers. That's right. So if you're confident that you can do this yourself, there's some things that you need to know and one of them is the ratio of coolant because this jug comes in a concentrated format and so you're gonna to need to mix that with water. How much? Uh, about 50-50. And if you're running in a cold environment, say Northern Alberta and the territories, you might wanna to go to 60-40. So that's 60% coolant, 40% water. Right. Uh, just to keep everything from freezing. So, uh, but the average everyday driver, 50-50. Sounds good. So for maximum operating efficiency of your engine, keeping it at that right temperature, you've got to make sure that the ratio is right, not just for anti-freezing, but also for heating that engine properly. So don't overdo it, but don't underdo it either. That's right. Thanks very much.